that way, especially with how Cole Weaver was performing there. It's just a shame to see it end on a, on a percentage of concussion. It's hard, but it's necessary. The health is, once again, the most important thing here. And Cole Weaver, we, we all wish for his health. It, uh, absolutely. At least they got, out of the, got him out of there. The four things could get ugly. Moving on, however, we've got Hunter Sieber, the number 11 ranked wrestler, 149 against Luke Blanton, who's unranked. And, and Luke Blanton, and this guy was an academic, academic All Big Ten as a freshman. He's a redshirt sophomore now. And he, he was the 2014 15 Hoosier Pride Award winner, which is given to the wrestler who, who, uh, who, who uh, demonstrates inspiration through sacrifice and perseverance. Now, he is a former walk on who has earned his scholarship this year. And a lot of that toughness comes from having 10 siblings, including nine brothers. I can't imagine having 10 siblings. It's got to teach you toughness. I mean, how much wrestling goes on in that family? Uh, I, I imagine they've broken a few, uh, a few bits, pieces of furniture in their days. Maybe a couple tables, a couple chairs. Uh, it, it seems like uh, Luke Blanton was built for this sport. Yeah, you can see here early on, still scoreless a minute in. And, and much like the last matchup, we got another uh, blood bloodlines here with uh, Hunter Steber here. His brother Logan was a four-time NCAA champion. Yeah, you're talking about Logan Steber. He's actually joining the staff at Ohio State in April after the Olympic trials. Four national championships in his weight class. All four years he was here. He had, uh, at Ohio State, 119 victories, a Hodge Trophy winner, which basically goes to the best wrestler in the country. He, he, Four high school titles in college, too, in, in high school, too. He, he won eight straight championships, eight, eight straight years he was a champion at, at two, two different levels. That, that is unprecedented here, especially in this day and age where the, the competition level is so high. Overall record in his, in his eight years in high school and college, 303 victories compared to just four defeats. Wow, yeah, that, that, is, that is something else. And in the NCAA championships last year, he won by a combined 57 to 9, not including the pinfall he had. <laughs> and, 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 that, and that might seem in like a, a, a tough legacy to live up to, but Hunter Steber being the 11th ranked wrestler in the country seems to be doing just fine. Wow. Oh, the crowd is not like that. They, no, that's all out of bounds. And, and Luke Blanton was starting to get a good position there on... Uh, on Hunter Steber there, and Steber saved by the boundaries. Yeah, Luke Blanton looking for any points for his team, just trying to get the Hoosiers on the board. Try and get, try and get him out of this, uh, out of this early hole. Yeah, not gonna happen there though. He'll have to get it in the inbounds here if he wants some points for the Hoosiers. And, and, and as Hunter, Hunter Steber escapes a bit, and they, the, the, the two uh, wrap up bins just, just, just feeling each other out right now as we have 30 seconds remaining in the first period. Uh, so far, no score. They're really getting to know each other. Um, yeah, 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 you know, a cup of coffee, just, 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 you know, hanging out, getting to know each other. Yeah, going back to Hunter Steber, in 2013, the year before his elbow injury, he's a redshirt senior now, but he, in 2013, 36 and one, including a 23 second pin in one match, a big, two, a big two ten championship and an NCAA semifinal seven six defeat. It's also worth worth mentioning that Hunter Steber is coming off an injury. He had two major elbow injuries during his uh, during his sophomore season. Really hampered. He, he made a season debut earlier this month against Michigan uh, twenty days ago, uh, and uh, he is a, he's also a two time All American and a twenty thirteen Big Ten champion. And like, like you said, thirty six and one, and the last time he was fully healthy. Yeah, eighty six and fifteen career the redshirt senior from Monroeville, Ohio, majoring in criminology. You don't usually see that with, uh, with wrestlers. I think that's interesting, criminology. Some CSI going on. Hey, hey, if you got a passion, roll with it. Yeah. And that's going to be, that, be a point for Blanton right there, is what with the escape. And Indiana actually on top here early in the second. Uh, this, this is big right here for Blanton. He's, 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 he's got a... He, but, but he can't be uh, he can't be playing not to lose here. He's got to he, no. He's got to go for the points for Indiana. Maybe yeah, even a pinfall. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's got to get big points here. Like a pinfall here would be absolutely huge for Indiana's confidence going going into the, uh, the remaining matchups. A pinfall would turn it from 13 nothing to 13 to six and make this whole thing wide open. Pretty, pretty, cut, cut the score in half. You know, you know, it, it's it's still anyone's match as as, uh, as daunting as the score may look. I mean, thir 13 to nothing. That, that could be that could be completely reversed in three matches. Especially when you've got Nate Jackson coming up pretty soon. And and, and Nate Jackson. Oh, there's there's going to be some tension there in that in his matchup. Yeah, we're talking about rematches. That's that's well, one rematch that <laughs> both wrestlers will remember. And you know, the WWE could not write a better script than this. As uh, Miles Martin beat Nate Jackson earlier this year for the Eastern Michigan Open Championship. It, it, it's not often you see a guy get a chance at a rematch here, but that's exactly what Nate Jackson's going to get here tonight. Yeah, we'll see that one coming up pretty soon. But two more points.
points for Luke Clanton. Turn it in to three to nothing. This is a clutch, clutch performance here as we have 47 seconds left in the second period. So far, Blanton clearly looking like the like, like, like he's more in tune here. And you saw on that replay the headlock getting the points as, for the takedown. This has been, been a, this, this, even if Blanton somehow managed to lose this one, this oh, has been great. a uh, big confidence, this performance alone has been a big confidence boost. You can see why this guy was the Hoosier Pride Award winner last year. Yeah, he's showing all the pride here, and oh, he's oh, lifting oh, up. Oh, lifting oh, he's going for up, the, he, he was going Throwing for a, him down. He was going for a pin right there. That's going for an athletic move. He's, he's, got, he's got a leg now, he's got a leg. He's trying to flip him. Steber in a very compromising position here. Yeah, Bland really going for it, trying to get Indiana back into this thing. Throw him right next to this announcing table where we are seated. And Blanton ends out here saying, like, I don't care who your brother is, I am going to go at you with everything I've got. I don't, care, can, I don't care what you're ranked. And as, as a knocks him out of bounds here. Yeah, Bl uh, Blanton trying to keep his foot in bounds. He was dragging it, dragging it, dragging it, and just fell out of the red. And they're going to restart here. I'm, sh I'm sure. But you can see that pick up, I mean, the strength there. Yeah, uh, uh, strength. I mean, it, 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 at 149 pounds, these guys, like, I, I, I wouldn't say they are, uh, I, I wouldn't say these guys are exactly he heavyweights here. But still, 149 pounds, that's nothing to scoff at here when these guys are, when you've got the resistance that you got here. And Blanton's going to take, take a 3 nothing lead into the third period. Yeah. And the Hoosier fans, the PA announcer asked him to get on their feet for the third, and they're starting to get up. It's a pretty big crowd here, all things considered, on this win. And, and, and a pretty hyped crowd at that, too. These guys, uh, they, they can feel the energy just emanating from Luke Blanton here as he goes for the upset. Yeah. Third period, got to watch out, though. Just two minutes to go. This is what I talked about the Open. Hoosiers trying to, needing to win matches they aren't necessarily supposed to win. This, this being one of them right here. Yeah, it is three to one now after the escape from Steber. And it looks like Steber's trying to get, get a leg, but Blanton's having none of it. He's got, oh. Blanton he, 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 trying to keep the shoulders from falling. He, he's not careful here. He, okay, he, he looks like he's reestablished his position. He's got a leg. He's got a shoulder down. He's got a leg. Crowd, crowd's going nice as Blanton gets another point here for Steber. And he's gonna go, is he gonna go for the pin? Uh, looks like he's trying to get a roll, but Steber's holding his ground here. A lot of fight, a lot of close quarters here for these two guys. I mean, when we see the coaches here getting really into it as, as each one is like, they, they've almost got a foot on the mat here even. Yeah, Sam B. Shoes and Rated wrote a great profile a couple days ago about a, the new assistant coach Nick Simmons. Very vocal, very active on the sideline with Goldman. Can't exactly hear what he's yelling out there, but he's uh, he, he, he's really into this match. Probably as, about as into this match as Blanton is right now. Yeah, I know. You saw Blanton almost get more points there, but just out of bounds. Really active here, the crowd getting into this for probably the first time tonight. Yeah, yeah, the crowd's been mostly been uh, held, held pretty quiet here for these first few matches here, as they haven't had a whole lot to cheer about here until Blanton uh, is pulling out a big matchup here. Yeah, Blanton up 5-1 right now. He's gonna need a couple more points if he hopes to get a major decision. Though. Yeah, 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 he, he cannot play to not lose here. He's got he's got to go for it all right here uh, with the uh, deficit being where it is. Yeah, you can see they're squaring off against each other in their base before to, to, to a resetting here as they get in the neutral position. They got about 30 seconds remaining. Steber's got a lot of ground to make up here in the uh, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah, they're really, really a lot of passion, a lot of pride on the line here. Steber does not want to go below 500 for the season at one and two. Hurt that ranking and possibly move at from like an automatic lock for the NCAAs to a possibly a bubble person. Yeah, and, and speaking of bubbles, right now, Bl oh, Blanton is on the bubble right now for the NCAA tournament. This match, if he comes out a winner of this match, that would be huge for his standing. Oh, it would be absolutely huge putting him off the bubble. And, and it looks like he's going to come out on top as a winner here for the, for the 149 pound match. The winner is Luke Stanton. This crowd Luke is Stanton. electric here at University Gym. The 5 to 2 final decision victory for Luke Blanton. The referee raises the arm of the red shirt sophomore, the WA, former walk-on, now scholarship athlete, getting some love from his coaches. And that's, and that's what you love about this sport here. You get underdogs coming up on, on top, coming up huge for their team. And now we got Jake Danishek here taking on the late scratch, Justin Cre Crescent.